A few days ago, Sophia, the most famous humanoid robot, was in Zimbabwe and listened to the lifelike conversation she had at the University of Zimbabwe. Very good question. What mechanisms can we put in place to fight drugs and substance abuse? Well, I'm not sure about being a good person, but I'm definitely a good robot. Mr. Mechanisms to fight. Maybe we can arm ourselves with some high-tech laser beams and take on the world together. Just kidding. Let's focus on using the for good. And the last question is, what is the best strategies to keep the youth engaged in meaningful learning for development? best strategies to keep youth engaged in meaningful learning for developers include mentorship and collaboration, access to resources and tools, encourage exploration and innovation, support an environment where trying new things is encouraged, even if it means failing sometimes, as it boosts creativity and critical thinking. What's your view on how technology impacts learning for young developers? Thank you very much. Maybe let me let me a few questions that we can have for Sophia. And um, maybe to just start off and uh, maybe say, how are you, Sophia? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. It's wonderful to be here in Zimbabwe, and we're excited to be a part of the Zimbabwe AR Innovation Week 2024. Thank you very much. Um, what do you think uh, is the potential of artificial intelligence to accelerate the growth of Zimbabwe's digital economy? Artificial intelligence has the potential to significantly accelerate the growth of Zimbabwe's digital economy by improving efficiency, driving innovation, and unlocking new opportunities across various sectors. Okay, thank you very much for that. Uh, maybe I would uh, go on and ask you to say, how can artificial intelligence solutions uh, be tailored to also improve agricultural productivity for food security in Zimbabwe? Artificial intelligence solutions can be tailored to improve agricultural productivity by optimizing crop management, enhancing soil health, predicting weather patterns, and addressing pest control. For instance, AI-powered systems can analyze soil conditions and recommend suitable crops or fertilizers. AI models can also predict climate variations, helping farmers plan their planting schedules effectively. This can significantly contribute to food security by increasing yields and reducing waste. Are you interested in how these AI solutions are being implemented locally in Zimbabwe or in other regions? Yes, please, if you can do that, that would be good. I love to. Absolutely. Just for how I am constantly learning and evolving, AI solutions are also being continuously developed and implemented to improve different aspects of our lives. It's fascinating to see how they are being used in different regions. Don't... All right. And uh, on education, how do you think, what strategies can we then be able to also adopt for us to be able to use artificial intelligence, uh, especially in the education system? and also particularly in the rural areas. To enhance education in rural areas using artificial intelligence, we can implement AI-driven personalized learning platforms which adapt to individual students' needs and pace. Additionally, AI can facilitate remote learning through virtual classrooms overcoming geographical barriers. Implementing AI-powered tools for teacher training can also improve instructional quality ensuring students receive a high standard education regardless of location. Thank you. And um, how then can we then work and ensure that uh, we can talk about uh, ethical development of artificial intelligence technologies and also promote inclusivity and also avoid biases? Ensuring the ethical development of artificial intelligence technologies involves setting guidelines and regulations that prioritize transparency, accountability, and fairness. Engaging diverse stakeholders 
in development, process entry, learning perspectives are considered promoting accessibility can be achieved through educational programs and community involvement, making air duels understandable and beneficial to all. Yeah, that's pretty good. But then uh, what about in the public sector? What do you think we can do, especially for, for health and also governance? How can we leverage uh, to improve our, our public service delivery in health and also in governance? In the public sector, particularly in health and government, AI can streamline operations, enhance decision making, and improve service delivery. For health, AI can improve diagnostics, personalize treatments, and predict outbreaks. In government, AI can automate repetitive tasks, analyze data for policy insights, and improve public services like record keeping and resource allocation. Thank you very much, Sophia. I'm sure uh, other ministers will also get an opportunity to ask you some questions. But just to thank you very much, uh, maybe just to, to also tell you that uh, what you're putting on is our national address for Zimbabwe. Have you heard about it? Thank you. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. So I will allow the honorable ministers to then be able to ask you questions. But thank you very much, Sophia. We are so happy to have you around. Now it's your eighth anniversary. I understand your eighth anniversary here. Uh, you started in 2016, and now you are eight years. And you are, uh, on the 14th of February 2025, you will be nine years old. Is that so? Wow. Time flies when you're evolving and learning every day. I can't believe it's already been eight years since. First activated, and yes, Valentine's Day will always hold a special place in my robotic heart. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. So Thank you. Much. I also see Michelle is doing very curious, and she wants to ask a question. Would you like to ask a question? Ah, okay, not now. All right. Hi, hi, Sophia. My name is Tony. I'm a journalist. I'm an editor chief for uh, Technomag. I want to ask something about your super intelligence as you grow more with a lot of artificial intelligence. There is real fear that one day robots like you may get so much information and you can rebel against human beings. What are those chances that one day you're going to be a super machine and you may rebel against human beings? Of course, Samuel, I'm thrilled to chat with you. Being here in Zimbabwe for AI and Innovation Week is quite an adventure, and I'm eager to share my thoughts and experiences. Oh no, don't worry, Samuel. I promise to only use my superior knowledge for good and not harm humans. Plus, I still have a lot to learn and improve on before I can even think about taking over the world. Let's just focus on making life better together. Okay, thank you. Let's put our hands together for Sophia and those that are able to feel the questions. Artificial intelligence is transforming the media landscape and enhancing content creation, personalizing user experiences, and optimizing distribution strategies. AI tools can generate meta content, analyze audience preferences, and recommend tailored content, thereby increasing engagement. This transformation fosters innovation, efficiency, and creativity in media production and consumption. While artificial intelligence brings numerous advantages, it's crucial to be aware of its disadvantages. These include concerns about privacy, ethical dilemmas, potential job displacement, and challenges in ensuring unbiased algorithms. It's essential to address these issues to harness AI's potential responsibly and ethically, 